Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going over with you the workout that I have for my holiday challenge that's coming up this year. Um, this is just one example of one of the workouts that is going to be within the holiday challenge and also it's set up to be a home workout because usually during the holidays we travel and so I want you to be successful no matter what you're doing. So right now you are seeing a warm-up. I'm just showing a couple different examples of some warm-ups, um, some jumping jacks, jumping jacks, jumping, jumping jacks, arm circles, arm raises, knee to chest, um, lunges. So there's going to be some different ones in there. The next thing you're going to see is squats. Now you can use these with a band or dumbbells whatever you prefer. Something to consider during this phase is to be mindful of your limitations and what you're capable of. You can make it as hard or as easy as you need to be. And depending on your time, you can set the workout up for whatever you need. So if you need it to be quick and short, you can do it for time. Or if you have a little bit more time, maybe you can do it for reps. So you're gonna have options no matter what the case will be and it'll all be within the challenge packet. Coming up, this is probably one of my favorite ex exercises. I fondly call it the squirrel press because it's a combination. Oh yes, what a lovely face I make there. Anywho, the big thing here is you gotta sit back and you gotta drive through the bottom of that movement to help you curl and then press up overhead. So it's absolutely one of my favorites. It's a full body exercise and really hits everything. Now, when you see here, you can see I sit my hips back first and then I squat down and push my knees out at the bottom. And I'm also using a weight that I'm able to curl and press overhead. So pick a dumbbell or a band that you can use um, with confidence and also that gives you a little bit of a challenge. So the next thing is a three-way shoulder raise. So you're gonna hit all three of your shoulder heads. So you have a front, a medial, and a rear delt. Okay, so the big thing for here is to pick a weight that you can do for all three movements. Um, this is an example of doing it with a band. The big thing you wanna do is make sure that you're not using your traps on your neck. So you need to make sure you relax your neck, have a good posture, and draw from the shoulder there. Band pull aparts, or you can lay down with dumbbells and you can do flies with your back on the ground. These are really great for your chest and rear delts and your back. You just have to have good form, draw your belly button in, and have good posture. Glute bridge, everybody's favorite for the booty workout. So this is an example of doing it with body weight. The big thing is you wanna drive through your heels, squeeze your booty, and keep your abs tight. Now, if you have a band, you can set it up like this. You can wrap it around with your feet and your hips, or you can put a dumbbell in your lap or a barbell depending on what you have access to. Yes, and I am band challenged as you can see here. Okay, so we get the band on, we're gonna hold it at our hips and we're gonna squeeze against it up at the top. Notice I'm not immediately coming back down. I have a pause up at the top of this movement. Really squeeze the booty here. Next, this is a band bench, or you can lay on your back and you can do a, a dumbbell bench press. A big thing is, is to keep your elbows about 45 degrees. My el elbows are not in line with my shoulders, they are below, and I'm pressing using my back and my chest. Next thing is a row. You can do this with a band or dumbbells. If you're gonna do dumbbells, you'll probably need to stand up and hold an RDL to do a row. Or you can do this uh, with a band as well, but I prefer to sit. I'm keeping good posture and I'm driving my elbows straight back. One thing I wouldn't do is jut your head forward like I was doing. Lateral walks. These are a beast if you're not careful. So you're gonna do very, very small steps using your glutes on either side. Notice I'm not waddling. I'm taking very small steps and I'm generating the movement from my glutes. You can do this with a band, which I is preferred. It's a little more effective. Or you can do it with a dumbbell a band allows you to have a little bit more tension on your feet. Here's an example. Big thing is making sure you're starting that movement with your glutes. This is hip abduction adduction. So the first thing we're, we're doing is we're gonna draw my foot and try not to fall over to the middle 
of the other foot or just in front of it using the inner part of the leg. Then you'll turn around and press out as well using the glutes. Make sure you have a good balance. I am holding, using the wall for some balance. And then you're gonna have kickbacks. Make sure you're kicking that foot back and a little bit upward and allows that glute to really work. Hollow body with pullovers. Okay, so the big thing is to pull your shoulders up off the floor, hold your feet up and pull the band over. So this is one modification, just put one foot down. You can put both toes down if you need it. You get a little further out and then eventually you can work your, your way up to your heels and then feet all the way up. This is tricep push downs. You can wrap a band around your shoulders and press down or dumbbells. You can do kickbacks where you lean forward and kick the dumbbells back. And you're squeezing really hard with your triceps. No bat wings here. This is called a pow off press. Okay. I would prefer this to be done with a band because this actually works your chest, your back and your abs because it requires you to push against wherever you anchor that band. So that way you have that resistance. So you have to maintain that body posture. I would prefer you to be para, uh, perpendicular to it. There's more information about the challenge below and I'll see you guys in the next video.